Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. So today we're going to be attempting to make one of those ice topper cups. So I actually have this hog 12 ounce soda can tumbler. Um, I've been looking at this for a while and I bought it a long time ago and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it but I thought this would be really cool for like a summery type cup. And so I was like, yeah, we'll use it on this one. So as you can see, it is stainless steel. Very nice construction. Got the hog on the bottom. So yeah, it has like just one of those flip up mouthpieces that has the straw on the inside of the cup, which I'll show you in just a second. So yeah, there's the straw that goes with it so you can get every little bit of juice out that thing. That's how it looks when you attach it. I'm giving just a whole cup tour this morning. <laughs> So yeah, so I went ahead and taped up everything and I spray painted these white. Um, I spray painted white because I really didn't know what I was going to do with it. So yeah, here we are now that I figured it out. So that is slime on the left and icicle on the right. And so I figured we were going to do like a margarita type of theme. Icicle is a very pretty white iridescent with those shifts of green and blue. If you're wondering, shaved ice has the shifts of pink. Um, in case you were trying to figure out how those are different, that is how. And this is just a neon glitter. This is, like I said, slime from our Nickelodeon collection. So just a really nice, bright, neon green color. And so I decided it wasn't going to look right if it was just a plain, like, slime glitter color and, like, with no kind of shifts in it. So I'm just going to mix up some of the slime and some of the icicle to create that bottom shape for the ombre. And then I'll just use straight icicle on the top. So if you guys like how this shade looks and you want me to like make it like an actual shade, uh, let me know and I can make that work because I'm sure, you know, if you don't, if you have the option to not buy two glitters, you know, that'll work too. But in case you ever, you know, want, oh yeah, and these glitters are pierceglitter.com. Get all your glitter needs. Like, where have y'all been? It's like I went on vacation and now I can't find y'all. <laughs> But yeah, so PiracyGlitter.com is where you can get the glitter from. I mixed up a bunch because I didn't know how much I was going to need. I mixed up way too much, so now I can do like 18 other cups. But better to have more than to have less and then try to color match. So yeah, let's go ahead. I'm doing the Mod Podge method. Um, nothing special here. Done this plenty of times. You guys have seen it. So yeah, now we're going to just go ahead and do our glittering. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up because I want it to look like, so like by this time I thought I was kind of like honing in on my ideal. Y'all know I always start and I never know where I'm going. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so I'm going to bring it up pretty far and I want like the bottom to be like the lime-ish color and the top to be the icicle white. So it looks like, as you know, it's like salt around the rim. And I'm like, I don't know if this is going to work out, but I'm willing to try it. We shall see. It ended up, it did end up working out, which was good. Um, and so, honestly, I probably should have did the icicle first because you always want to do the lighter color first and then come back in with a darker color, but I don't be thinking. And so, yeah, that's just how I ended up doing it. Um, it all worked out. But when I did the second layer, I did do, and I'll show y'all a little bit of that. Um, I did do the icicle first and then come back and do the... The, the color that doesn't have a name, honestly, <laughs> the, the, the color mixture. And so I let it dry for about an hour. Y'all always ask me, oh my goodness, I'm not even gonna get on my soapbox because it's not even worth it. But I'm just gonna say y'all really need to know how to utilize Google because I do have a full-time job. I do go to school part-time. I am a wife and a sister and an aunt. So I can't answer if y'all, <laughs> I'm getting on my soapbox now, please. I'm, all I'm saying is please do not write 80 questions and one question and think that I have the energy to answer because baby girl, Google, you're going to have to Google. Cause like I said, I work 10 hour days. I go to school. My other two off days, I get one off day a week, which is the day I do these videos. So y'all got to bear with me. Okay. You know, I appreciate the love and support, but y'all got to bear with me because YouTube don't pay your girl. You know, just to keep it a buck. And y'all be wanting to take a lot from me, and I don't be having it. So, yeah. Anyways, back to the video of me off my soapbox and planning and wanting y'all to feel bad for me. Don't feel bad for me. I'm doing okay in life. Life is, is what it is, you know. 
I'm surviving. So anyways, like you saw, I just did the ombre at the top and then i um, gonna go back in and do the bottom half. So yeah, I thought this color is so pretty. I might make this, I might need to make this a real color. It's so, it's so pretty. It's like one of those greens that like, who wouldn't like this green, you know what I mean? Cause like, you know, Emerald has its time and place. All the dark greens and stuff have their time and place. But this one, she's on. So I really like her. So you're just going up and touching back up around that rim, making sure there's glitter over the whole cup, giving it a nice ombre. And that is what we are working with, yes. And so I'm gonna go ahead and address the lid. And so I'm gonna glitter the lid in icicle. I didn't wanna leave the, I couldn't just leave the cup um, like stainless steel colored or I didn't just wanna leave it plain white either. In retrospect, I probably could have, but I didn't want to. I wanted it to like be uniform from top to bottom. And I couldn't really think about how I wanted to coat it to protect it because you wanna be able to wash it, right? Um, so I'll show you what I did in just a minute. But yeah, just went ahead and did it like I would anything and I'm just gonna glitter it with the icicle. I did, I wanna say I did, I only might, I may have only did one layer of icicle. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna I let it dry, dust it off, clean it off. Just wanna get all the excess glitter off. And then at this point, I had so much glitter on that little gasket, I'm just gonna take it off and I'll put it back on like, you know, before I start using it. But yeah, hello, Bright Tone. She's back with a vengeance. And so I didn't know, I couldn't, I, I'm sure I could have done like a clear coat of epoxy. Um, but again, thinking about the fact that this is like the mouthpiece and y'all be acting crazy about epoxy being near the mouth, a whole nother story, y'all know my soapbox. And it all relates back to this Bright Tone. And so, I still have all this bright tone at my house. Um, so I'm like, I'm good. And I was making a bright tone cup. If you want to see it, it's not up yet. So, but you should follow me on TikTok at Period 6 Glitter. And also follow me on Instagram at Period 6 Designs. Oh yeah, and subscribe to the channel while you're here. Thank you. Um, but yeah, and so I still have all this bright tone left. So I still do use it off camera because again, my issue is not with the product. My issue is with the, fa the fans. Some of y'all are the worst. But anyways, and so I end up doing five layers of bright tone on the lid. I only did that one on camera, the rest off camera, but yes. And so now I need to catch up with the video. Now I have let this dry completely a few hours and I'm going in with the quick coat. This is just a sealer. I was just gonna take it to the garage and just spray it. I was being lazy. I did not want to move. The furthest I was going was my craft room. <laughs> and so um, knocked off all the excess glitter and now I'm just sealing it in with the, with the quick coat counterculture DIY. And so doing it one color at a time, do the light color first, wipe off your brush on a paper towel to make sure you don't have like, well, and when you do it the white to green, it doesn't matter because the icicle was in the green, so it'll be fine. But if you were to do it the opposite way, but you can never go wrong wiping off your, your brush first and just making sure that everything is nice and clean. And so I did end up doing two layers of that, just like the Mod Podge, wait two hours, not two hours, wait at least an hour between coats of doing that. All right, y'all know what's next, we epoxying. And so, yeah, um, this is the Counterculture DIY Artist Resin. I did just get the medium viscosity uh, artist resin in, so I'm very excited to use it. If you guys want me to do like a review like over on TikTok or Instagram or anything like that, let me know and I'll let y'all know my thoughts about it. Also brought their prime time, so you might be seeing that show up in a video here very soon. So yeah. Nothing special. I just wanted to make sure that I maintain that bottom rim on the cup because I just feel like that gives it like the can shape. So I paid that part a lot of extra attention to kind of make sure I maintained the shape of it. Because you could very easily use epoxy to kind of fill in the shape and kind of make it look uniform all the way down. But I really wanted to make sure it maintained the shape. So that's how it looks. It's the next day. I did do some light sanding. It did need some light sanding around all those rims. So just... FYI, I do sand with fine 220 grit paper. So y'all asked me that as well. So just a little tip, I am using two mechanical pencils to hold my cup in place. I see like you can buy like those PVC pipe things, just use two pencils. Um, so yeah, this is our little decal, I made this. I got the Salt Tequila Lime Repeat and Silhouette Studio in the little box thing I just made myself in Silhouette Studio. So yeah, the vinyl, I will leave a link to it below. You can just pick it up on the Amazon 
Prime Day is coming. Oh, you might can get a good deal on this on Prime Day. Put it, go ahead and put it in your cart now. But uh, yeah, so yeah, that is what I decided to go with. Um, Cause I, you know, I see a lot of people doing the tequila, lime, and sunshine, and y'all told y'all about that one. I just this one still has the same elements, but I just thought this one was just a little cuter. That's my personal preference. So yeah, going ahead and doing my second layer of epoxy. I won't bore y'all with this whole thing, um, but I did 10 mils of each side, 20 mils total. Um, I always do mix a little bit more, so I did like 12 and a half mils of each side for my first layer, and then 10 for this layer. Didn't use all of them on either layer, so you could probably do 10 for the first layer, seven and a half for the second layer. Um, so yeah, if it's really bumpy, I suggest going uh, two layers, then then vinyl, then epoxy in that third layer to seal it in. Just, you know, for smoothness sakes, let that spin. Pay an extra attention to those rims. I always tell y'all pay attention to your rims because those are going to be your areas where it could potentially get the bumpiest. Well, my, my, my rims always be bumpy. Um, so just always showing extra love to those rims and just know that I do go back and I do hit it with my heat gun for one or two revolutions. You don't want to burn your epoxy. So just be gentle with it. And so now we're about to move into the vlog style of the video. Surprise. So come along with me as I try to figure out this ice top portion and I will come back and do the rest of the audio. Um, if you guys want to join me, if not, skip forward. Hey y'all, so uh, vlog, vlog style video today, I guess. Um, so actually, uh, this part of the video is coming about is because I wanted to do the, like the ice top, but I didn't know how. And so as most, with, with most things, I don't know how. And so I actually, I attempted to watch one video. I don't like to watch other people's crafting videos. I don't know, it's kind of like when you're in that field watching videos of the same genres just aren't enjoyable. I don't know, maybe it's just me, um, but I don't really watch other crafting videos. But when it's something I just really don't know how to do and I and I really didn't know how to do this, because what I was gonna do is I was gonna actually uh, cast, like use like clear casting resin and like an ice tray mold and make them. But I noticed like the shapes weren't perfect square, so I didn't know what to do. And so I had watched one video and I end up not watching the whole thing because they started to put it together with hot glue. And I'm like, see, this is why I don't watch other crafting videos. It was, I'm like, I know this isn't right. But what I did take away from that video is that, um, they just, those are just like things like you can like put in a vase. And so I'm here at the Mecca, this, uh, Hobby Lobby. So we're at Hobby Lobby today. We are going to see if, and this is a, our Hobby Lobby here is huge. Like, it, like the end of the building all the way down here. Like our Hobby Lobby is ginormous. And so hopefully we can find what we need. So like I said, I'm going to do this little bit vlog style um, because, you know, I can't get everything on the internet. Well, you can't get everything on the internet, actually. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be kind of fun to take you guys along with me today and let's see what we can find and ignore my face. I got a really intense facial yesterday in aesthetics clinic and so my face is purging. So please don't judge me for that. Uh, we're all a work in progress. So let's go. Just one more thing before I go in, like the store is really crowded and I still don't care about like filming in there or anything like that. But like I'm masking up because I still have really bad COVID anxiety. I am someone who worked from home the entirety of the pandemic and continues to work from home. I've been very blessed like that, but if the audio gets a little muffled, I'll do voiceover on top of it and I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, definitely still going to be filming, but I will have on my mask because even though Colorado is pretty safe and about half our state is vaccinated, um, because I've been in the house and I don't have to be around other people, I still get really bad anxiety in public now. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there before I actually walked in the store. If you're like, Mom, you sound super muffled all of a sudden, that's why. And then like this Hobby Lobby is so big, I don't even know where to start. I've been in here a few times, but I'm probably just gonna end up walking up and down every aisle because I don't have, so let's start right here. I think, oh wow, did I go straight to it? This looks like this is it. Let's see. That's it, huh? Oh wow, what luck. I've been in here not even 60 seconds and filming 30. Okay, so, 
Yeah, I think. I'm pretty sure. Are these looking in the shape of a diamond? I don't know. So these look kind of diamondish. So we'll see if they have something a little more square. So I stumbled upon candle making section. And I really want to make candles on the channel sooner rather than later. Um, so that's something you guys want to see. You want me to change it up? Definitely let me know. An update. So I've been in here about 10 minutes. Still only have these. Walked up and down. Bunch of owls. Haven't even touched half of them. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to keep going. I'm not going to worry. I've been trying to like peep down the owls and see if I can see what I'm looking for. But I still feel like we can make these work. But I want to try to find some that are more square. And worst comes to worst, I'll get these. And then I'm also swing by the Dollar Tree and see what they got. Because you can never go wrong with a stop at the Dollar Tree. All right, I'm back. So the verdict is I was only able to find these crystal dazzlers. What they call them? What did I tell you? So we will make a stop at the Dollar Tree, um, which is a mass line, <laughs> um, which is just right up the street. So in this part of Colorado, there's everything everywhere. So five minute drive to Dollar Tree and we'll see what they got. she is oh it's raining I had went to the first Dollar Tree and, and don't do as you see I'm doing do as I say not as I do um but they didn't have anything and so now it's raining and I need to stop at the other Dollar Tree so I'm gonna just stop at the other Dollar Tree and we'll see what they got all right y'all so I just left the second Dollar Tree I don't know what's going on like are y'all making like a lot of vases with like vase filler because all they had were seashells and i was very confused um because these dollar trees are usually jumping but i've also noticed uh since the world is back to normal i guess i don't know again i'm still in the house full time um but yeah definitely a lot more people out i guess a lot more people buying things a lot more people wanting vase filler the only thing that they had that i did buy i'm related and these trolley bike crawlers fruit punch these came out a few months ago, bomb.com. Oh, this is the first one I've seen them at this Dollar Tree, but if you're into that, I checked your Dollar Tree, delicious. All right, so now I'm just gonna go home. We'll make it work with what we got at Hobby Lobby, and let's keep making the video. Just really quickly, on my way home, but wanted to share the mountains with you guys, get these views on the daily because this is where I reside. <laughs> But yeah, just I know it's raining, so I'm not gonna film long again because this is technically very dangerous. But yeah, mountain views. All right, y'all. So I am back home, and I don't know how I feel. So these, they're nice and they're cute, and they are crystal dazzly, all that. They're just not ice cubes. And I was like, I can just make it work. It'll kind of look like melting ice cubes and the air just kicked on. So if it just got loud, please ignore that. Um, But like, I don't know. I'm like, I don't want to open them in case I want to return them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I just looked on Amazon and I can order um, some of the actual ice cubes. They're very expensive. And honestly, that's what I was trying to avoid. I was thinking that like you could just go to the store and buy them and Amazon was just taxing. Um, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to avoid Amazon. So I'm going to hold on to these. I'm going to keep them in the packaging. I'm not going to open them in case I just need to return them. And so I'm going to order some on Amazon and we'll see how it goes. So thank you for coming along with me today. Um, I hope this provided some a breakup of how I normally do videos and stuff like that. Yeah, welcome to my kitchen as well. Um, so yeah, now let's finally go back to the video. All right, y'all. Last update, eating homemade pralines. Um, so I was about to order on Amazon and then I was looking at the sizes and the lid is so small that I don't think that they are going to fit. Like if I were to order the ones from Amazon. And so I'm going to just make it work with what we got. So yeah, I'm going to do like a crushed ice look. Crust? Blah, 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 blah crushed ice look and we'll see how it turns out so let's go 
Thank you for joining me on my adventure to find these dang ice cubes that I so didn't end up finding. And so we're going to be going in with the less resin UV resin. Leave a link to this below. And also I got my UV LED lamp on the ready. And here are our crystal deserts you just saw me pick up at the Hobby Lobbies. And I just wanted to point out that the bright tone yellowed very badly in my opinion. You can see how the epoxy part of the icicle looks and how the bright tone looks. Very yellow. I was honestly, I was pretty upset um, because what the heck. Uh, when you're using a white glitter, you want it to look white. You don't want it to look like it's been sitting in a smoker's house for three years and it's yellow. So I wasn't really happy about that. I even considered putting the little dazzlers around the rim, but I got over myself and I'm just like, we're just gonna rock with it because I just feel like if you're trying to unscrew the lid and you got the crystal dazzlers around it, you probably gonna mess up your hand. And we don't want that. So I had to get over myself when it came to that. I'll probably think of a different way, maybe even coating it in like a UV resin um, just to protect it. And I want to show y'all how the cut was going in the dark cause I'm a loser. Uh, so yeah. So this part is, I want to say it's pretty self-explanatory, but like right now you see I had, I did I wasn't thinking about the mouthpiece. And so I had to kind of claw up that, that stone and put it back on. Um, so yeah, that's just what you want to do. Just use your UV resin and just place them how you want them. Always being aware of how your mouthpiece comes up and down. Um, and if we're like, the only thing about this one that's kind of weird is that I had to, and I didn't think about this until I was actually doing it, is that on the other cups where you see people doing this is that the straw is like on one side of the cup, whereas this one, the straw is down, technically down the middle of the whole lid. So there's going to be a split. So it's kind of look, going to look kind of funky. And so my thought was that I will make the back half like look really high and like it's ice piled up and I'll let the front be kind of low. That way when you're holding it up and like you're looking at it like at eye level, it kind of looks like you give you that same moundy effect, but you have the, the, the mouthpiece in the middle. So that was kind of just how I went about this creatively to kind of compensate for the fact that, you know, with another, like any other regular tumbler, your straw hole would be just on one side of the cup and you have the whole surface of the cup to make it work. So yeah, so this you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta be patient, which I wasn't, um, because this is very hard to do. And so, and it's very hard because then things don't want to stay in place. And so you see me doing very creative things like go ahead and turning on my light and picking up the lid and like hurry up and putting the, everything in place and like shoving it into the light to kind of get it to quick cure. I didn't do a few, full cure on anything until I was like done with each side. So when I got done with each side, I would do a full, full cure for 90 seconds. But yeah, so you got to do things like you know, turn on the light, place the stone, put the resin and hurry up and grab your light to kind of freeze it in place. And so it's very hard to explain that. Hopefully the video is showing you what I'm doing better. Um, because like I said, it's very hard to explain that because it's very tricky and yeah, you just gotta be patient, but be agile with it. You know what I mean? Like I said, you gotta, it's like the stone gluing Olympics when you're trying to start stacking them. Of course, putting the ones like on the, the bottom were, were fine. But like you see me now going back in and just filling in, making sure it's not going to move and that it's going to stay in place and stay where it belongs. But like here, you see, it's like it's not sticking, but I got to go ahead and turn on the light, stick it in there, things like that. You just got to be quick. You got to be quick about dropping that, <laughs> dropping that uh, bottle and hurry up and grabbing your um, your thing, your light and going in, just filling it back in and making sure it's going to be safe and secured. So, like I said, I know I didn't explain that well. Hopefully the video shows you, but this is what I ended up with and I'll show you guys the final look. So that is what we are working with. I think it looks cute. And so we made it work with what we had. Y'all saw the struggle <laughs> that I had uh, with it, but I think it looks cute. I think it looks really cool. It's a concept, it's a vibe, it's summer. We're in here, we're out here. Uh, Y'all stay safe all that good stuff. So if you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're almost to 30K. 30K, we will do a sale. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Perry 6 designs Follow me on TikTok at Perry6Glitter. And I will see you guys in the next one.